Harry Potter. <laughs> what does it say? The speed limit is eight and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> that is like Harry Potter eight. And th what the heck is eight and three quarters? This is this is what happens. Speed bump. Woohoo! <laughs> this um, is what happens when I give you the car and so you you pick a hotel. Do you think this might be a bit much? It's not even a hotel, it's more like a castle, a chateau or something. Book a hotel room, I said. She lands us in a Terry Pratchett novel, look at this place. I feel like I'm in Rincewind's library or something. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everything so yellow in here? Like your teeth. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a seal on the door? That's weird. It's a pretty nice. Whoa, <laughs> look at that, old school telephone, right, I'm going to hit the sack. <laughs> Long day ahead of us tomorrow. Alright, well, thanks to uh, Lady Snores a lot over here, I must have had, I don't know, two hours sleep last night, but thankfully I'm fueled by, uh, I don't know, six espressos this morning. <laughs> so I'm ready for this one, I'm a little nervous though because it's undefeated. Hundreds of people have asked me to do it, and uh, I, don't, I don't want to get too graphic, but not much of yesterday's challenge has exited my body. So, uh, fingers crossed, it'll be all right. It looks delicious, so uh, I'm sure I'm sure I'll do fine and dandy. So today I'm at uh, Bear Grylls in Bristol. Is that named after the, the Explorer Bay? It's not like a play on words. I'm a big fan of Bear Grylls. Bonia. Anyway, I'm doing their, uh, has it got a name? Like a special name or just? Bear Grylls Challenge. Just the Bear Grylls Challenge. He says just the Bear Grylls Challenge. Look at the size of it. This is huge. You get uh, 60 minutes to do it, right? 60 minutes. One hour on the clock. If not, it's 45 quid? Yep. All right, and they put up like a little shrine to you somewhere, I assume, because nobody's done it yet, right? No, no one's done this one. Oh, I hope I can be the first because I mean, it does look delicious. I can't wait to get stuck into it. Uh, bread. Oh yeah, and bread too. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get underway. <laughs> What's up, Bidami? Welcome back to uh, episode number two in what I guess you could call the the trip to Bristol <laughs> mini series. I know it doesn't sound uh, that glamorous, but uh, anyway, this is the one I think everyone's been waiting for. I think over 400 people must have tagged me in this on uh, social media, so I thought, you know what? Let, let's bite the bullet, get down there and give it a crack. <laughs> oh, look at those ribs. That's just half the rack as well. Anyway, yeah, this thing has been, um, it's been all over social media. I, I would be surprised if you're watching this now and you haven't seen it at some point. It's been around for, a, 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 I don't know, I wanna say like a quarter year maybe, maybe a little longer. But uh, it's at a place called Bear Grylls in, uh, in Bristol. They have a couple of other locations. I'm not sure if the other locations do this uh, particular challenge but I, I, either way um it's undefeated right and and the whole shtick seems to be uh the, the the consensus online is that this this cannot be done right so i thought you know what I, I i need to get down there and at least you know have a crack at it so that's what i'm doing today this thing i can't really itemize every single thing on it as you can see it's got one huge burger on there a full rack of ribs which i'm getting stuck into now some chicken wings pulled pork brisket burnt ends two different types of, uh, of fries. I think one bowl had cheese and bacon on top. The other one, I forget. And uh, some bread rolls for like no reason. <laughs> Dinner rolls on there, I don't know why, but um, uh, onion rings as well. And uh, you get an hour to do it. If you if you finish it, you don't even get a t-shirt, but, but you do get the meal free. You're supposed to be encouraging me with this. <laughs> oh man, it's six minutes in, seven minutes in. I think that's a little early to be relying on Mrs. Bid for uh, <laughs> for cheerleading duties, but uh, I've got a decent amount of it down. I did forget, I forgot the hot links as well, sausages, and of course, corn on the cob. They're really crispy wings, so you can't umbrella them, it's, it's hard. 
Yeah, they, they would not succumb to my wizardly technique. Uh, they, they were delicious, though. I, I very much enjoyed the wings. My beard all right? <laughs> what a question. Is my beard okay? Lindsay's like, eh, not really, but it'll do. I'm telling you, right now, compared to the end of this video, this is looking positively slick by, by comparison because it does start to get a little bit hectic. I'll warn you. But uh, right now, I'm making good pace, right? I'm still enjoying it at this point. But let me tell you, the uh, the fries, you wouldn't believe how many fries are in those bowls right there. It's, it's ridiculous. So far, I'm all right. Well, let's talk to Mari. Um, I don't really know what this is. Uh, they call that a, a burger patty, Adam. <laughs> I think I must have just succumbed to some temporary retrograde culinary amnesia right there. I think what I meant to say was, I don't know what's on it. Um, it turned out it was um, a pretty standard thing. It was crispy onions, some uh, barbecue sauce, bacon cheese. The, the barbecue sauce was delicious, though. It was almost kind of uh, gingery, very peppery. Uh, but, you know, that was very enjoyable. There's uh, some, some green stuff on there as well. I mean, I, I've had about enough of that this month, but yeah, it's pretty good. I just realized it's got uh, burnt ends on top. <laughs> not surprising that, that Mrs. Beard has never heard of burnt ends before. She's not really into barbecue cuisine or, you know, anything that's not potato. But <laughs> yeah, the, the burnt ends, there were way more of these on my meal than they're in the picture, but I'm not complaining. They were pretty good. I feel like a, a dog, you know, one of those doggy toothbrush things. I'm you okay. okay, if you say so, boss. Oh, right. Just to make myself feel better, I'm gonna put everything on one tray apart from the corn. That, that, at least it looks like I've eaten something now. Oh man, so many of them. Look at the size of the pile, though. But yeah, this is the point I'm thinking. I recall it very clearly. I'm thinking, oh, this is just going to end really, really in a grim fashion because that's a lot of fries, right? And that's not the only portion. There's another one to go. And they weren't bad as far as fries go, but um, I, I just knew it would, get, it would get really, really rough by the end. Oh, man. That car is going to smell so bad on the way home. My problem is, once I've eaten these, Right back for square one. Yeah, this is one of those. If, you, if you're gonna do this one, I mean, I would recommend maybe if, if this is gonna be your first food challenge, don't, don't try this one because you know it's a pretty top end one. But um, yeah, the, the, the worst part of this is look at that psychologically, that does bad things to you when you, you've just finished a big old pile of chips and then you know you pour out the next bowl and uh, there you are back to square one again. There's another pile of starch in front of you. I did, I did enjoy the, the, the toppings though, uh, one of them had like a nacho style cheese on with bacon. I forget the other one, but it was nice and creamy, so I, at least that kind of helped him down. Dry fries would have been, ugh. This is what remains. Do it. I've been going half an hour. 28 minutes. Yeah, at this point I'm, I'm thinking Lindsay thinks I'm just going to dust this in like five minutes, but I know that even with 30 minutes left, this is going to be hard. I forgot about the second portion of burnt ends. Even more burnt ends. There's burnt ends everywhere. I kept finding little pieces of beef. I'm not complaining though. The burnt ends are actually one of my, my favorite constituent parts. They were almost kind of sweet in, a, in an odd way, but very enjoyable. And actually in the middle of all this starch um, to get a little, a little flavor was not a bad thing. What's this about? Seriously? What do you want? Can I have um, a diet coke and a few napkins, please? Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, listen. I know there's some sticklers out there. Are gonna be thinking, what about the butter? I checked. <laughs> I checked on the butter. That's not included. You do not have to eat the butter as part of the challenge. I'm getting desperate now. Yeah, you, you could pretty safely assume that. When the Diet Coke comes out, things are starting to look a bit bleak. <laughs> uh, look how slow I'm eating here. That's mad. I also, I, I, I thought I'd better 
kind of fast forward this part a little bit because it's not pretty to look at. I'm just kind of smashing characterless balls of stuff into my face. But I mean, I, I suppose that's my modus operandi most of the time anyway. Oh man, I, I remember the feeling looking at these these crusty rolls thinking, oh, <laughs> anything else? <laughs> I would have taken mushrooms over these things because my jaw was just spent, but it's got to be done. Frankly, I'm just trying not to sh my pants. I'm concentrating on trying not to do that. I'm pretty spent That's not really that comforting though. I, I don't I'm actually want to poo with my pants. Yeah, the spare underwear was not really a comfort. I can chipmunk two entire mini rolls of bread. I have no idea what she's on about there. I think she's been watching way too many of Notorious Bob Shout's uh, one bite challenges because there's no way I could uh, <laughs> get one of these down, even in like two or three bites. Anyway, I, I remember, you know, at about this point, I'm thinking, I mentioned Randy Santelli. I don't know if you watch any of his videos, but I, I mentioned him in the last um, the last video. And uh, I remember at this point, I'm thinking, wow, th there's one thing I know that Randy can do better than any other like food challenge guy on the planet, and that's eat day after day after day. It's still, you know, really well. I mean, for me, if I, I, I ate the day before this and it just absolutely writes me off, especially the older I get, I was finding this really, really hard at this point. Why? Why? It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, about this point, I'm thinking, ah, oh, I wish this was a team challenge because even Mrs. Bid could could have eaten these uh, bread rolls quicker than I'm eating them right now. Second can of Diet Coke. This is real desperation. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh yeah. Sorry. A little bit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, I don't, I don't think I would have done this without Lindsay there, kind of in, in my corner, because <laughs> I was fitting to bail uh, uh, multiple times in, in this challenge, but she kept me going. So I've got to thank her for that. Well, it's taking me three minutes to finish that bread roll. Yeah, no, but now the bread roll's gone. <laughs> I'm just whinging. I'm sorry, but this was this was super difficult. Anyway. The, this is some old-fashioned dramatic music, so I'm, I'm gonna chime out. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll let you watch the dramatic conclusion in peace. Six minutes to go. Ooh, I don't know. You're gonna have to adjudicate on what constitutes a clean cob, right? I'm eating paper now, but whatever. Yeah. I mean... Okay, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god! No. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm a mess. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's an honour. It's an honour. I don't have to make it small now because he's done it. Look at this. You have to push me. Push me. <laughs> <laughs>